something's brewing at your favorite restaurants, and this is happening more, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, founder yeah. and executive editor, San Diego Beer News, Brandon Hernandez, joining us now. Brandon, hello. Hi. Uh, this is super cool. I don't know where to start. Like, no, honestly, where do I start? Uh, we'll start here, but so we're talking about uh, the fact that restaurants are getting into brewing. And before, you know, you've seen breweries like Stone and Ballast Point open yeah. restaurants, right? But the reverse is true. They've seen the success of craft beer and want to be part of the community. So they open breweries mm. so they can serve beers across their restaurants that Brilliant. match their thematic as well as their food. So it's we're pretty smart. Yeah, okay, brewery smart. number one. We're starting with Catch Brewing, the Brigantine Group. Right. Look so at the this. Brigantine Group, we know them for, of course, the Brigantine, yes. but Gail's Cocina, and then Catch uh, Grill and Taps. That shares the name of the brewery, which is Catch Brewing. It is located not far from here, actually, in, in uh, Kearney Mesa, yeah. down Convoy. Really cool spot. So the headquarters for Brigantine had a warehouse they weren't using for anything. They said, why don't we put a brewery in there? So they oh, built wow. a brewery, a tasting room, and they got a test kitchen there. So you can get their beer, their test uh, dishes, as well as some Brigantine classics in the uh, tasting room part, all at one time. Really fun place to go for lunch. Uh, what I've got for you here is a beer named after their head brewer, Sam Bilheimer. Oh, Sam Bilheimer. Here we go. Yeah, All so right. it's called How many Dr. different Bil kinds of beers do they have, though? It seems like a... Uh, well, they have about like a half dozen cores, and then they have other specialties oh, that they yes. do. But, so that's a German Pilsner, Dr. Bilheimer's I Magic love Pilsner. love Pilsner. Great Crisp for this and dish. cool and... Oh, yeah. And really great for like this charred mm. octopus dish, because you get that... Oh, sure. That char the charred notes, and they're heavy. You right. drink that, wipes it away, you're ready for another bite. Mm. But yeah, they do a lot of lighter styles as well as IPAs and things like that, because they want to keep it like mid-level on the ABV and then make sure it all... A magic food. Pilsner. Magic Pils. I still say Dr. B Dr. Bill Heimer's Magic Pils sounds pretty great. Holy moly, I gotta put that down. All right, okay. great. Not Next, oh, it's my joint. I love my Puesto. You know that, Brandon. Oh, cool. Well, so Puesto took over when Gordon Biersch closed their Mission Valley Brew right. Pub back yeah. in 2019. Not only did they snap that place up, but they got the brewer who has been there his, for, for decades, right? Foremost lager maker in San Diego's name is Doug Hasker. When oh, brewers yeah. around town want to find out about how to make lagers, they go to him. He's generous, kind enough to let them know. We have good lagers in San Diego, better lagers because of him. So, he used to make more German style lagers, and yeah. now he's pivoted over to Mexican style lagers. Also makes IPAs, pale ales, things yeah, like yeah. that. But Those Mexican lagers, that's my new jam. I know, well, I think you're gonna like this. Ooh, this uh, fish taco is battered in a batter that's made with oh, this, which nice. is their amber lager called Puesto Negra. Uh, Puesto you're gonna, Negra. Yeah, I'm gonna have this with you. Oh, yeah. Uh, you're gonna have some toasty caramely notes in there, yeah, but just that slight sweetness. Cheers. Um, yeah, Look at that. take me away on vacation, please. Mm. Oh, yeah. That's oh, so I need that puesto guac with the chips and the thing and the hoof. Next time. Mm. <laughs> well, what I can tell you about these oh, beers that's and these- really good. Oh, I'm telling you, these brewing companies here, they're making award-winning beer. I should have yeah. noted that before, but it's not like it's just an experiment or just trying to get some beer in their spots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These are very high quality high beers, stuff. but yeah, made by experts. recently got a big award. Uh, that's right. Yeah. This is, which one was this again? Uh, this is the Pilsner? Puesto Negra is what we're having. Puesto Negra, this is yeah. mud. But they have a Pilsner there oh too. Oh my God. Clara, they got it all going on. Great, and then ah. they got the food, which is great. So yeah, you go to any Puesto, good. you're gonna get it. Okay. All right. And Last then, but not least, oh, good old whole dad. Seriously not least. I mean, 50 years <laughs> in business, been on Food Network, what feels like a million times. Yeah. Uh, and, and rightfully so. Everyone's had a burger at, at uh, Hodaz, but maybe you haven't had a beer yet. The beer is something that the their OB general manager, Marlo Mermo, came mm -hmm. up with. He said, hey, why don't we do a brewery? And they said, great, you take the ball and run with it. He did, he made a place in Sarah Mesa. That's their manufacturing facility. They're not open, so don't go there. Go to their spots in <laughs> OB downtown in Petco Park. Could be the best part of your Petco Park experience this year. That's right. Um, so they make a Mexican style lager that's great, nice IPA, a brown ale that's really tasty. What we have here is a collaboration beer okay. from them that they made with a brewery up in Vista called Blues Brothers Brewery, right. called Bros on the nose. Please Bros on the nose. It's got some pretty sick hops in it, like Strata, Mosaic, and Cognito. Uh, you're gonna Cheers. get some tropical notes, mango, peach, oh, wow. as well as some You know some what they say about orange. me on the basketball court, right? I also have sick hops. Thank you. I just need to take that in for a second before I take the beer in. That, <laughs> but yes. I wow, think, what this I think is I really... sick kicks. <laughs> but sick hops too. Oh, whatever. Right. Uh, but yeah. So this is a limited edition this beer. This is really interesting. Available now. Yeah. So like, if you want to try it, get out there right now, but they have their core beers that are available all the time. Award winners again. What is happening in this beer? This is really, really delicious. I like that it's not super duper hazy. Sure. Still very drinkable, but yeah, you get you get all that nice tropical and citrus fruit yeah. in there and 
Yeah, not overbearing, 7%. Really and nice. And it seems like this, it makes sense. Oh, Dad's been around forever, let's make our own beer. Now all these other folks are doing it. It's fantastic, it's a great idea. Yeah. Uh, all the information, if you want to get the beer news and get the scoop on San Diego beer, fox5sandiego.com, we have a... Uh, we can, we can connect you to this guy here, Brandon Hernandez, who is the king you. of all beers. Oh, that's your new title. King of all beers. Yes. Cheers. Oh, wait, you put one. Okay. I didn't get to try this one yet. Oh, which one? Uh, that one you yeah. can try. So all right. There we go. Yeah. Cheers to you. We'll be right back.